Andrew was born in 2000. We had him diagnosed at the age two with autism. Uh, and then my wife took over. She's the true definition of a mother warrior. And you fast forward now, he's 22. He's been playing baseball in the Miracle League for 12 years. He's at Florida Atlantic University in the Academy for Community Inclusion. One of the most social people that we've ever met. And of course, his, his loves are surfing and baseball. We heard about the Miracle League from a close friend of ours. Uh, their son had been playing or had just started playing. So we raced in the car down to Delray Beach to the Bucky Dent Park, and this is 13 years ago. Jumped out, saw what the Miracle League was trying to put together. Andrew got to meet a couple of co-eds. We got to meet Julie and Jeff. We saw what you were trying to do, and we thought, my God, this is going to be fantastic. So he's been involved ever since, and it's just a passion of his that keeps growing every weekend. My favorite sport is baseball. I've been playing baseball for 12 years. My favorite place to play baseball is in Delray. Alrighty fans, give it up for big hitter, Andrew! Back in the day, there was no baseball, there was no surfing, there was nothing for these kids. So that worked out beautifully and we thought, great, something for him to do. And it was really just a break for the parent. So we were able to step back a little bit and watch and I said, okay, we're gonna keep doing this every week and just watch the Miracle League evolve, watch him evolve, and he's never lost his passion for it. As a parent, it's been eye-opening. It's been gratifying to watch him go from hitting off a little tee to learning really to swing properly, learning to hit the ball. He hasn't got it over the fence yet, but he's, he's growing. His passion for it is growing. His ability to catch, understanding how to run, and then building on all the social aspect that comes with it, which I think is very important for all these kids, especially Andrew. The Miracle League is critical because these children, special needs children, do not have opportunities to play sports, typically in schools or outside of schools. So it gives a child that's always left on the sideline a place to go to experience the same thing this, that these other kids do and to get the social aspect. So they are learning a skill, they're learning the social aspect of it, they're learning a sport, they're learning about team sports and taking an entire group that has been left behind and giving them the opportunity to do the same thing that a, that a typical child can do. It's not just an opportunity to have Andrew out there, it's now an opportunity for us to interact with him um, and as he's grown in the 12 or 13 years he's been playing, he's now pulled back from me to say, Dad, I've got this, I know what I'm doing. So now it's a chance for me to go in and help the next generation. So when the parents come up with their little four-year-old, five-year-old, and they say, my child doesn't speak, my child doesn't know baseball, my child doesn't do this, and I can say, being there, that's my lunatic over there. He used to be like your child. Go sit down, let us see what we can do. After a week or two, the muscle memory kicks in for these kids, the smiles start coming, they understand what they're doing, the parents are like, thank God. I'm like, that's where we all are. For special needs parents, they are under constant duress for the, the cost of care for their children. And it's, it's hundreds of thousands of dollars for every single parent, from therapies, etc. So to have a chance to have a no-cost league like the Miracle League is, is phenomenal. Not only is it a break for the parent, it's a chance for a child to grow into something. They don't need to bring gloves, they don't need to bring bats, they don't have to buy uniforms, everything's paid for. And all they have to do is show up and we'll take care of the rest of it. So for me, you know, a life of giving back, a life of, of helping other people, and for the Miracle League as well, the chance for us to be able to do this at no cost is critical. So we do need to raise funds. I'm not only a coach, I'm not only a parent, I'm now a board member. I understand how important it is that we raise money from the community, from grants, from gifts, from any, any way we can scratch and claw so that we can continue this for the rest of our lives and hopefully the rest of the lives of these kids ongoing.